Howdy folks, welcome back for another installment of the mobile joiner cabinet build. This will be the uh, installing the casters and making and installing the cabinet doors. Again, as I say every time, I am I am a complete and total newbie. This is my first woodworking project. If you're looking for help on how to like how you should be doing things, this is not the channel for you. This is this is chronicling my misadventures in woodworking. Going to be attaching the casters with uh, T nuts, and that actually I didn't I couldn't find uh, my spiral bit that was the right size for the uh, for the T nuts, but I did find I had some I had a force bit that was the right size, but man was that thing slow getting through that plywood. <laughs> Actually, later on, I I realize that uh, the the Craig bit that goes to my uh, to my pocket hole jig that that bit actually happened to be the right size for the T-nuts that I had. So when I get to the bottom two uh, the bottom two wheels, <coughs> or I guess that would be the back two wheels, uh, I switch over and yeah, that's like right through it. I, I wish I had realized that at first and not taken so much time. Uh, Don't worry, I don't make you sit through all the drilling with those Forstner bits. I uh, I cut it down quite a bit after that. And the reason those casters aren't right up against the edge is because they're inset uh, so that they miss the the three-quarter inch plywood running up the side since I'm using the the T-nuts. Whack that wood. Again, I know a lot of these camera angles aren't the best, but the day that uh, the day that I did all this stuff, uh, I recorded everything and never went back and looked at any of the footage until I was completely done with the project. So, future projects, I uh, I promise to try to do better with the camera angles. I do kind of feel like I'm getting the hang of editing video down to, for time now, so these seem to be getting progressively shorter, which I guess is a good thing. Although this is two pretty simple things that I'm doing in this one video, so when I get to the uh, when I get to the drawer, that one uh, that video will probably be a, a little longer, uh, unless I cut out a lot of my mistakes because uh, I, I wound up uh, messing up fairly badly on that one, though I was able to recover it. 
Yeah, I'm actually just using a piece of uh, three quarter ply scrap there to get it up, uh, to space it up for the back, and then just a, a extra little piece of cardboard to get some breathing room for the edges of the T nuts on the inside of the cabinet. Ah, uh, yes, that's where I, that's where I realized that the uh, that the drill bit from the uh, from the pocket hole jig would work, and so much faster. Right, and that has the casters on. Whee! Measuring for the cabinet doors. I need to find an adapter for the uh, for the table saw for the size of that dust collection port to where I can use it with my, my shop bag. This cut really should have been made on the miter saw, but I was being lazy because I don't want to move the cabinet. And I got the miter saw and put it up there. <laughs> yeah, as I, as I finally remember to put my glasses on halfway through the cut. Checking for fit. And it was pretty good. Yeah, my thoughts here were I just cut it as one piece and then I was just going to use the, uh, the the saw kerf basically as the spacing between the two uh, cabinet doors. Not sure how uh, how wide that kerf is. Uh, it's the combination blade that came with the saw stop. I'm, I think it's around an eighth of an inch, though. Oh, these little uh, these little Craig uh, hinge jigs are really really handy. <laughs> As I'm goofy. with the bad camera angles at which I finally realized <laughs> I'm 
Not sure why that wouldn't go in the first time. Apparently, I just wasn't holding my tongue right. hinges uh, was a lot faster than I expected it to be. With that jig, it was probably honestly the easiest part of the build. And no, Craig is not paying me to say that because uh, I have like three subscribers. They, uh, they're they certainly not going to send me free things. <laughs> yeah, there I was using the Brad point on the, uh, <clears throat> on the end of the, the bit that goes with the jig to poke through the paper and mark the holes. It was just what was laying nearby and handy, so... Worked out. <laughs> yeah, I've got to have less shots of you looking at my back. for the screws for the cabinet side of the hinge. Obviously, I suppose. Actually, uh, I did, uh, after this, attach the, uh, the handles or the pulls to the, to the cabinet doors, but I completely flaked on turning the camera on, so apologies. <laughs> Nothing really complicated there anyway that you haven't seen a million times on other channels, I'm sure. All right, guys, appreciate you sticking around and watching with me. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll have the next ones up soon.